Good evening. It was a landslide. Democrat Melanie Stansberry trounced Republican Mark Moores in today's special election for the 1st Congressional District. Right now, she is up by 28 points, with most of the vote counted. You can see 69% of the vote is in. She has more than 63,000 votes. Mark Moores is sitting at just about 34,000. Let's get to News 13's Annalisa Pardo, who is live at the Hotel Albuquerque, which is serving as Stansbury's election night headquarters. Annalisa. Brittany, this race was called about an hour after polls closed. And of course, when that happened, lots of cheers here from Stansbury supporters. Now, four candidates were on the ballot to replace Democrat Deb Holland, who left to head the Interior Department. But the race was always between Stansbury and Republican Mark Moores. His campaign received very little funding from the Republican Party in this district that has leaned heavily Democratic for more than a decade now. Stansbury took the stage tonight. I am proud to stand here tonight as your next Congresswoman in the United States. Stansbury is a two term representative from the Northeast Heights. The Albuquerque native has a background in community development and natural resource and science issues like water security. She has told us that her top priority, if elected, would be economic relief coming out of the pandemic. And with her victory, New Mexico will maintain its all U.S. US female delegation. Uh, New Mexico is the first state to have all female representatives. Back to you. All right, thank you, Annalisa. Definitely celebrating there tonight. Now, the Democrats have won eight straight congressional elections in this district, winning them by an average of about 18 points.